First tonight at 10 o'clock, Dallas police officers now stepping in to fill the role of 911 operators. It is the latest development in the controversy surrounding staffing and technical issues at the 911 call center. Our Brittany Jeffers on the story tonight, live over at City Hall. What this means for officers and also those of you watching. Brittany? Well, I can tell you I reached out to the Dallas Police Association because we wanted to know exactly who this was going to be impacting. And I found out that this is officers who are on light or restricted duty. They'll be the ones that are filling in temporarily for one to two months. However, city council members tell me that this speaks to a much bigger problem. Alarm holding in 30 beat. And Issues getting through to 911 and a lack of operators. The latest move to address the void will mean moving about 40 DPD officers to the 911 call center. President of the Dallas Police Association, Mike Mata, says the officer's first duty is to serve and protect. But, quote, we understand this is a temporary solution and the department is filling these vacant positions so that these officers can get back to their primary duties within the department. Two residents claim their loved ones died this month after repeated attempts to reach a 911 operator either failed or were extremely delayed. City representatives released these numbers today showing on Monday the service level at the Cole Center was at 85.05 percent and 83.63 percent on Tuesday, while the goal is 90 percent service level. Council members have their concerns shifting officers into the call center. Over the phone, City Council Member Scott Griggs told me, quote, this underscores what an urgent crisis we have with our staffing shortage. We're stretching DPD even thinner. Philip Kingston added the strain on DPD, stating, quote, they can't come to the rescue of every department that finds themselves inappropriately staffed. And the city did also release an update today saying that there's going to be a briefing for city council members on April 19th regarding the issues with AT&T and the 911 call issues. Reporting live here in downtown Dallas, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News. All right, Brittany, thank you. Tonight, 